but then you'll get sidetracked with your writing something else or reading or doing anything like, that gets in your way. I want to know like, if you have any suggestions on how to overcome that. How old are you? I'm 13. I'll be 14 on the 23rd though. Okay. I mean, I would I don't know. I mean, yeah, if publishing is your goal, um, I'd more. say like, pick, like, or putting together like a piece of work that's like together. <laughs> I'm just thinking like when I was 13 through like 25, <laughs> like I would just write different stuff. Like I never really finished anything and like, I don't know about but I think it's super normal to like start on something and kind of see where your mind takes you and where your interests take you. They'll probably change as like you're in a time of a lot of change being 13 and into teenage years. Um, so I think it's, that's super normal. If you ha do you have something specific that you're like trying to write or that you have an idea about? I want, I have like random ideas every once in a while, but like, I want to write a novel maybe on science fiction or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something, um, something kind of like, not, something maybe good. true, but also kind of realistic in, in the way of feeling about this. Like, like the feelings um, are realistic, yeah. and what they're going through is realistic, but yeah. also has that little bit. I would magic fantasy part. Mm -hmm. Do you have any? Because cool. you wrote a novel. I feel like with poetry, I just wrote enough that I was like, right. I could put this into a book. <laughs> um, I would say, I guess, decide. I think a lot of writing is making choices. And so it would be about deciding what story you want to write and then committing to it mm -hmm. and just saying, yeah. okay, I'm going to write this. I'm going to write, make a decision. Like, I'm going to write a draft. Of it. And then I like to compartmentalize. So, um, like I would in my mind, I would say, okay, I'm going to write a draft, and then and then I'll reevaluate again. Like maybe I want to put it down then, but at least like set a goal and compartmentalize it. And then I would say just committing yourself either in time or chunks, because it's really hard. <laughs> like. People write, and then you get discouraged, or you don't like what you wrote. Um, those kind of things. And to but, go back and yeah. like, right. Why did I? And so yeah. I think it's just to keep going. And um, there's a great book by Annie Lamott called Bird by Bird. I would check out that book. Um, and she talks about a most right having a set time if you can. Um, personally, I feel like I'm grabbing time everywhere, but. Um, and just doing it, so I'm going to sit and write mm -hmm. for two hours. Yeah. And then just do it. And if you get stuck, just write anything. Mm -hmm. And then come back, if you, if you get really stuck, just put it down and come back the next day. And then it'll be clear what's working. It's always clear the next day. Yeah. And you can be like, well, this works and this doesn't. And then just go, keep going forward. I have the problem with Al get an idea and write for like um, like forever like a few hours and i'll be so into it and then i'll be like i can go to sleep but i don't want to and i'll just keep writing but then the next day when you wake up you're like i don't feel like doing this anymore i've done that before or i was little and i actually had to write a play for my siblings and i attacked out and i wrote for like three hours i think i was around the age of 10. yeah and i wrote for three hours and then i was like the next day i was gonna finish it i'm like out of, i'm done with it do you ever like read back through what you wrote before? Yes, I do. If I like don't visit it for a while and yeah. I'm just like not pay attention to it, I'll go back and read it and see if I want to continue or not. Yeah. I mean, I think like the practice of writing is so much bigger and longer and than the actual like writing of something. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't think that it's necessarily like a, a bad thing or anything that you even have to change of, to, oh, yeah. to go back and finish those things. I mean, keep them because you never know what you could use later. And I've definitely written like poems that kind of I didn't, like pieces of them or I didn't um, finish them and I've gone back later and I've been like, oh, I like this now with like new things that I've accumulated sort of.